I'm seeking a refund of $9,863.45. I can provide Cheapo Air with whatever documentation they need in order to justify that amount. A check or a credit to my credit card would be appropriate. December of 2019, we booked flights. That would be for five of us, my daughter and her, her family and I, to Israel and Croatia on Cheapo Air's booking number 6581910. We paid $10,010.05. That included $990.50 of Cheapo Air fees. The rest of it was for the airline tickets with Austrian Air. In April of 2020, because of COVID, we canceled those flights. I was assured by Cheapo Air that we would have a full credit with Austrian Air of $9,019.55 as long as we booked the flights by January 31st of 2021 and flew by December 31st of 2021. On December 8th of 2020, we rebooked our flights. Cheapo Air charged us $350 in order to rebook those flights. But the new flights, since we didn't include Israel this time because of other worldwide problems, the flights only cost $5,708, which meant that Cheapo Air owed us $3,311.10. They said they'd work with Austrian Air and assured us that Austrian Air was going to give us that refund. Finally, on December 29th, Austrian Air refunded us $861.55. They said that re represented the taxes on that $3,311. Cheapo Air assured me in writing that Austrian Air would continue with our refund of $2,448.55. Numerous phone calls, numerous phone calls to try to acquire that money. I have, I have notes of several. January 24th, I spoke to Neville. January 26th, Neville again when I followed up with him. February 26th, I spoke to Olin and Svetlana. On March 12th, I spoke with Arabella, who told me she'd send an email to Austrian Air again. On March 19th, I spoke to Selma, who told me she would now send an email to Lufthansa, the, the parent company. The number of calls that I made to Austrian Air over that period of time are numerous. On, March, on May 23rd, while all this was going on, since our departure date was June 12th, coming up very soon, I called to verify our seats, and I was told there'd been a change in our flights, that the flight from Zagreb, the return flight from Zagreb to Vienna had been canceled. I then spoke with Austrian Airlines, who gave me an assurance that they had rebooked us on a similar flight. They gave us two new booking numbers of 47T4YZ and 47R6L3. They gave us two booking numbers simply because there were five of us and only four of us would fit on one booking number. On May 24th, Austrian Air said Cheapo Air had not yet exchanged their tickets. Now, mind you, this is, this is less than three weeks now from our departure date. On March 28th, Cortez at Cheapo said that their tickets were held up because they were already refunded. I explained to him and several other people over the next week or two that the tickets were not refunded, that all that was ever refunded was $861. Dozens of calls, many hours on hold. Finally, on June 5th, only seven days before our departure date, I told Cheapo Air, cancel whatever they had in their system, give us a full refund, and I went and purchased brand new tickets at additional costs through Delta Airlines. To date, Cheapo Air owes us $9,863.45. That, that takes into consideration the refund of $861 and a $200 courtesy refund they gave us back at last year sometime. On our return from Croatia on June 23rd, I called Cheapo Air to find out the status and I talked to Morgan, a supervisor at Cheapo Air. He said American Air or Austrian Airlines had control of our tickets and he would get back to me in one to two weeks and would send it to the concern team. Well, he never got back to me. So on July 12th, I called. I talked to Torin at Cheapo Air. Torin said he would transfer it to a supervisor and call me back in one hour. He never did. On July 13th, just four days ago, I talked to Byron at Cheapo Air. He said there have been many follow ups. He gave me his personal apologies, transferred me to Rod Eric, who's a supervisor who told me he would now be transferring it to a team of supervisors and would send it to Austrian Airlines on a priority basis. He said he'd get back to me in three or four days. Well, today is July 17th, four days later. No surprise, no return call from Cheapo Air. 
My only advice to anyone out there listening is never, ever use Cheapo Air. Cheapo Air, if you're listening, our booking number was 658-19010, and I would appreciate a full refund of $9,853. Thank you. The most frustrating thing about our current situation is that when we call Cheapo Air, before anybody picks up, we have to wait sometimes up to two hours. When they finally do pick up, we get transferred after fully explaining it from one department to the schedule change department, to the billing department, to a supervisor, each time re- having to repeat all of these details. And each time we are assured that they now understand our problem and they will get back to us. Sometimes it's within a day or two. Sometimes it's in quote unquote 24 to 48 hours. Sometimes it's in three to four days. Sometimes it's within a week. They never follow up as they promise. This problem has existed for several months now. We've contacted Cheapo Air and Austrian Air on numerous occasions with primarily telephone calls, but also with emails. Austrian Air continues to say that the problem is with Cheapo Air. At one point in my frustration, I had Austrian Air on one line and Cheapo Air on the other line. I put the two phone receivers face to face, had the two of them yelling at each other, and the woman at Austrian Air was flabbergasted. She was so frustrated with the incompetence at Cheapo Air. And of course, as a result, nothing was accomplished. And to this date, we're we're running out of options. Uh, We're hoping that by using this uh, venue, maybe we'll get some results. I would have to say it's at a one if that. Customer service at Cheapo Air consists of answering your phone call, having you repeat the same problem over and over, over a number of months, having them continue to say that they apologize and that they understand the problem and they'll get back to me with an answer. Well, they never do follow up. I'd say number one, train your people. Hire good people, train your people. Tell them the importance of keeping good notes, listening closely, and following up when they say they will follow up. I'm seeking a refund of $9,863.45. I can provide Cheapo Air with whatever documentation they need in order to justify that amount. A check or a credit to my credit card would be appropriate. The easiest advice in the world, don't use them. Austrian Air asked me why I use them and I was embarrassed to say to save a few bucks. It's not worth it. Do not use Cheapo Air. 